Hello people, salut les gens, welcome. How are you guys doing today? Bit of Subnautica. Look at this uh, natural lighting. It's awesome. Yeah, so there's been updates, so I had to restart because this is one of those games where it's recommended to restart when there's an update, so that's what I did, and I just redid everything uh, to the point where we were at on the last episode, except I got a bit more uh, blueprints than I did the on the previous episode. But we should be a bit at the same stage, if I may say, that we were on episode 2. So, I built this small base and I got bio bioreactor blueprints, the seamoth, the moon pool, oh, oh, scanner room. Apparently there's several of them. Because this is new, I haven't tried that yet. Uh, as well as the camera drones. The modification station, I didn't have that last time, now we do. I also found blueprints for the batteries, for the repulsion cannon. And uh, yeah, so we got it. And the, um, what's it called? I also have the, uh, your, uh, the suit, radiation suit that is. And uh, yeah, so this, today I wanted to go into the Aurora and get that done. But first, let me check on the batteries here. As you can see, it's three storage high, and it's awesome. There's no power in my base right now. This is all uh, natural lighting. <laughs> I love that, that you can do that. So yeah, I've uh, pretty much, this is a small mini base. I just placed basically anywhere. Uh, it's kind of between the, uh, the uh, what's it called, the safety, uh, the place where you spawn there, that, uh, what's it called, that, that, that thing that already is wrong there. It's between here and the Aurora. Uh, this was basically a base just to gather a lot of titanium and maybe test out the new things from the update. I didn't want to establish a long-term base here. So yeah, this is my small base. Now we're going to fix this guy up because as you can see, he's busted before we head to the Aurora. We're going to also add some power to the base because that was the last thing I, I had to do. I was just finishing transferring everything from the uh, the uh, life pod, that's the name, to this base. And this will become my kind of surface titanium base. Let me check. This is the new options. I love that. So now you can like remove the power cell, exchange it. Uh, let's remove this one because we're going to put a brand new one in this puppy. You can also do, as you can see, it doesn't move or anything right now. It's dead. You can also do the same thing with the Sea Glide. So change its batteries. For the Sea Moth, it's actually power cells. See, battery dead. And this one has barely 11 or 10% left. So we're going to go recharge it right away. Let me remove. So. What this offers, I think this is a great update. As soon as we're talking uh, about new items, new so which obviously brings uh, you know uh, new aesthetic sides to the game, but also brings you new crafting, new building, and new you know you got to take care of your battery. So that's management. So it's a whole new gameplay. So really enjoy it. The batteries for um, let me just check here. Solar panel. Yeah, let's give some power since the sun's out. This is part of the new update as well, the May update, so you get new skins or new uh, modded solar panels. Oh, first time we get power. power yeah, I built all this all without power, I was just online. going back and forth with the life pod, you Welcome know, and um, I got a bit carried away, like you always do with this game. I just wanted to do one of those circle rooms, or two. And I end up doing six. Because <laughs> it's only six titanium. It's really not expensive. It's mostly the window in the glass. That's a bit of a hassle. But the rest is fairly quickly done. Oh, Bounce, bounce. <laughs> okay. So, I know in the Aurora we're going to need a welder. I haven't been there in like, I want to say a year. So we're going to go check that out. This doesn't work. This, I'm going to get some new pictures in here gonna be awesome you can expose your pictures and I uh, wanted to check grab this grab some food for their trip what do we have left we're gonna have to go make more soon this is just one door I placed to, to test it out looks really cool I remember these doors this is my future bedroom I don't think I'll be making and this is one fish uh, of each kind that I've discovered so I haven't discovered them all yet, and I'm just keeping them in there to, you know, 
just one. Every time I discover one, I put them in there. And this is an empty one for now, though. It'll probably be used for mushrooms. It's unfortunate that the water goes through, as you noticed. But yeah, so we're gonna need some uh, welder. And, oh yeah, the batteries. Let's go check this out. So, you got the big power cell chargers right here. And there we go. This is actually the first time I'm trying them with you guys. So apparently that's how it charges. Okay, this is my battery stalker. I gotta build a bunch of these. You always need these. Like I was I mentioned before, the batteries for the Sea Glide. So you can place the full ones in there too. You can like stock them in there. I wonder if it's gonna close. We'll see later. And this is for the small batteries. Now I noticed that you know how you need two small batteries to build one power cell as well as something else which I forget but you always need two small batteries you can actually use two uh, like not recharged like with zero energy left uh, used batteries so basically two small used batteries to make a brand new power cell which will be fully charged keep that in mind if you're ever having trouble let me just exchange these put that one in oh yeah so it did close awesome okay I think we'll be good. I want to take more than I would need just in case we run into trouble over there. Uh, so I think I'm, we're good. Should I take a new welder? Let me just eat here. Okay, just want to leave full blast just in case we run into some trouble. Okay, I'm going to quickly make some food here. I'm quickly going to go get a one of these fishes in the tank here. These guys will feed you well. Cure him so he doesn't rot in my inventory and take him for the trip. Just in case we run into trouble and we need food. We got water, we got life, we got everything. Okay, didn't create another one. Now for um, the welder. Power cell. Okay, got the welder. I know there's some welding involved over there. Sorry, I'm just double checking everything because I got two welders and I know one's used, so I'm gonna take the brand new one just in case I need 100. I don't know how much condition you need exactly, how much of it it's gonna use in the Aurora, but I know there's some fixing up you gotta do. So let's go check that out. So yeah, put the battery in here. Awesome. Okay, I want to grab another battery really quickly, uh, just in case, because I was trying to mention it before, for the Sea Glide, the small batteries, they run out like really quickly. You always want to keep an extra small battery on you for your Sea Glide, because it's crazy how uh, the energy just runs right out of those small batteries. I'm thinking they might boost them a Welcome bit later Captain. on, but not sure about that. It is like just kind of a small glide, like a small scooter. But it's really, the batteries really run out really quickly. Okay, so we're going to head towards the Aurora, but I did notice a small, like a small debris field that I was right by my base when I was building it, but I never checked out and I wanted to check them out. Because I know there's, there's a lot of these, like, I want to say insignificant small debris fields but I just want to confirm that they are you know insignificant it'd be unfortunate unfor to have this small debris field and not to be ever able to find anything that's what I find a bit unfortunate and look at all these forms these new weird well-made forms uh, that apparently I can't even scan oh a bag Okay, I really wasn't expecting to find that, but why not? What, what, what can you put stuff into it? Is it like a, a, a locker? Or a second inventory on you? I don't know, like a daisy? Okay, so that's cool. Now I know these debris will contain at least these little debris fields will contain at least one little unique item apparently I don't I have no idea when this bag came out oh and a picture of a girl that's right who is she 
What is she doing on this locker? This is the first human face we see since we've been on this planet. I'm gonna take a picture of it and keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna speak to it. <laughs> you must feel lonely. Uh, kind of like on that Alone show. I don't know if you guys have been watching Survival Alone show. I really, uh, really appreciate that show. Really shows you, uh, you know, human wonder. It's so well made and detailed, I can't believe this is not scannable or usable. Oh, okay. Okay. Should have turned off these. Seamoth is uh, lights. Caution. We're good. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. So that's interesting. That, that I'm happy because now I'll be looking out. I, I used to just ignore those or just quickly check if there was a blueprint around it or something. But now I know that there can be some unique items. That's awesome. I have no idea when this bag came out, if it's with this recent update or not. Feel free to leave me a comment if you guys know. I didn't see an info on that. Any info on the bag or new items or anything. I'm guessing there's more than just, you know, a bag. Let's head to the Aurora. Let's head inside and see what we can do. This is one of the objectives you want to get done fairly quickly because from what I understand it, as soon as you... What's over here? Another small debris field? Apparently there's really nothing around here. Gotta also find those, the rest of those Cyclops blueprints. I want to get that ton. Um, I've got three of three uh, different kind of blueprints getting done right now for the Cyclops only. But I know I think there's like four or five different kinds to find, so you want to get that done as soon as possible because having the Cyclops is just awesome and opens your gameplay to a bunch of new deep sea waters. And you know, I want to try to get that box. There might be some uh, power cell in it or something interesting like that. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what usually you can find is life, uh, signals, batteries, power cells, water. Uh, and, uh, you know, interesting stuff, which is interesting really early on. You want to check those boxes as soon as possible, because, uh, yeah, I want to put that back in my inventory. There we go. Let's check that box over there. I think it's chasing me. Oh, a small battery. I'll take it. Oh, ouch. Let's dodge this guy, too. Yeah, I don't care that small battery was worth it. Like for 30-20% life, no problem. Is that the same box? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and from what I get at, as soon as you turn off the... Uh, so you repair the Aurora, uh, you won't have any um, radiation problems anymore. Which, from what I gather, means that you can remove your radiation suit and, uh, you know, wander freely wherever you want and use benefits from another suit rather than the radiation from the radiation suit or anti-radiation from the radiation suit so yeah and it's just appreciated because you know you don't have much missions this is an early access as we all know so you don't have any missions or really big objectives to do so uh, it's much appreciated and i wanted to share it with you guys oh god i'm so sorry little dudes here we are I don't know if you should go, if I should go in with my Sima. I haven't got this one yet. There we go. You will go in my aquarium with your buddies. Uh, yeah, I guess it fits in. Okay, let's leave the lights just in case one of those big monsters come in. Come in. Maybe he'll get blind and he'll decide not to come in. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. It's me and my imagination. Okay, so here we are. Like I said, I haven't been here in really long. Like I've, when the first the game first came out with this option that you could pen, you know, penetrate inside of the Aurora, I went inside, did the things, but I haven't been here since. So I really don't know what to expect. Okay, so there's a small bug. We'll just ignore it. That's, you know, early access games. 
So apparently it thinks that there's a creek mine everywhere around me and I can just cut it up, but there isn't. Or there shouldn't be anyways. That's okay. Nothing that will really bug us. Oh, it even does it off water. <laughs> I could basically eat forever. Ouch! What the hell? <laughs> no, but I won't be using that option, but uh, I could basically eat and drink forever now with that bike. What's this? Cyclops power efficiency module. Awesome! I know we'll be using that, and I know they're super hard to, to craft, or you need to gather really hard materials, I think, to craft those, so that's... Just for that, it's worth coming here. Okay. I'm hoping it's gonna stop eventually, but uh, whatever. It doesn't bug me. Let's start fixing or welding things up. So how many of these puppies do we have to fix? Uh, I think it was like six or eight or ten. Okay, so there's ten left. Okay, we'll just leave that one for the end since it's the dry one. And then we can go through that hallway. Awesome. Gotta dodge these uh, lava things here. Here we go. I think there used to be like uh, enemies in the water here um, that would come and eat you up or bug you. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Okay. Let's just ignore them and do our job like a good technician would do. <laughs> or welder, I should say. Nine left. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so the irradi uh, irradiation will be radiation will be taken care of as soon as we fix this up for a long term, which is awesome. I don't know what other effects radiation does other than hurt you when you're in the zone. I wonder if it you know affects other things like a uh, base that you would build in radiation, or maybe if your cyclops or sea moth go into radiation, do they? Uh, get damage as well? I don't I don't remember that. But this is something you want to do. Uh, I want to say before you get the Cyclops. And I want to say after you get the Seamoth. Or maybe before the Seamoth as well. You could do it, but you got so much work to do. Uh, you know, Sea Glide, Seamoth, uh, construction, you know, everything. You got so much to do before you get the Seamoth. It's once you get the Seamoth that things start to calm down where you uh, figure out that maybe you'll settle a big base somewhere or... Yeah. So I don't know exactly which is the best time to come in here, but I think now is a good time. We've got a small base, we've got the Seamoth, we've got some stuff. Now is a good time to come and fix this thing up. Okay, I think this is... Containment yeah, repaired. one more left and we know where it is. Awesome. So that wasn't really too hard. Maybe the... Well, we're not out yet. Don't speak too fast, Jeltas. <laughs> and you're always looking for a challenge, eh, Jeltas? <laughs> Stop talking to yourself, Jeltas. <laughs> okay. Really missed this. I really love doing this, guys. Talking to you guys. You guys are such good listeners. <laughs> Delta, as you're talking about yourself in front of the computer right now. <laughs> okay, so we checked out the other side. Now we can go back, weld the last one, and call it a mission accomplished. Radiation in three days. Okay. Attention. High energy particle containment field restored. Auto decontamination sequence initiated. So Aquatic in three radiation levels are estimated to return to safe levels in T minus three days, ten cool. hours. Three days and ten hours. I wish there was a um, what's it? but there is one. A journal like in the long dark, you know. So we're on day twenty three. So uh, day twenty six. Or if it's plus 10 hours, maybe even day 27, we won't have any radiation problems anymore. That's cool. Hmm. The ship were rendered unhabitable during the detonation. I 
can understand and see that. So we're not going to totally explore the front of the wreck here, especially this dude. Oh, ouch, ouch, okay. That's what I thought. They don't hurt you too much. So you got some, you know, cool, another power cell. That's awesome. I'm hoping to find something else awesome for the Cyclops in these boxes. I already got a couple of those single things. And that's going to be probably... Oh! Woo, we're good. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, we're going to come in up front. You know, I'm going to take the Seamoth and maneuver him over here. And so we'll be able to explore with the Seamoth. Uh, it'll be better because it gets deep from what I get down here. We're just going to check these boxes quickly. Probably make our way out of here, out of the Aurora. We'll get the Seamoth. Also, uh, I have a heat signature that seems to be really really deep like I, I stopped going after it when I realized that it was like really really deep so I want to check out that heat signature as soon as I can you get those heat signatures with these signals and that will probably be for the next video as you can see hit not water cool. hey little dude let me get the water A lot of these boxes. Okay. okay. Ouch. We'll take the water, we'll take the water. Better than nothing. Now can we make our way back? Yeah we can. Woo! This thing gonna blow up more? Really well made. I love these sounds in this game. The sounds are really well made, I find. For an early access, you know, they're they're like done. <laughs> the explosion sounds of the Aurora when it explodes is like you know, it could be in a movie. Really enjoy it. I wanted to use this as a flashlight, but I can't see now. Okay. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Ouch! My welcome is not a welcome anymore. Bye guys, take care. Watch out, I wouldn't hang out here too much. It's probably gonna blow some more. Okay, we're gonna make our way back to the Seamoth and oh, I forgot to... What's this? It looks like a button. What happens if I... If I touch it, pressure. 